So Pentile, you say you're familiar with Pentile as a technology? Um, yeah, of course, really. There's, there's actually about 75 mobile products in the market already using Pentile. Mm -hmm. Probably more than most people have come to realize. A few of them have gotten some attention. But we've been scaling the technology up to go to other sizes and other applications. Uh, this one is targeted towards tablet. And, and the entire panel is what's sitting in front of this mm -hmm. black piece of plastic. Uh, as Scott mentioned to you, this is 300 DPI. So imagine that really high resolution, right. state-of-the-art cell phone, scale it up now to a tablet size. If you were to try to do this with conventional RGB stripe technology, the, the amount of light throughput would be so small, it would be impractical to make it. This technology, by getting rid of one third of the, of the mm -hmm. sub-pixels, mm -hmm. but still retaining the same number of pixels in the same resolution due to sub-pixel rendering, we're able to, to dramatically drop the power. Now, when we say 40% reduction, that's for using all different types of images. If you were to put something like a, an e-book on here, black right. and white, mm -hmm. it's even much bigger savings right. and much longer battery life. So in this case, uh, Scott mentioned to you, we have a peak bright, brightness of 600 nits that we do outside. Right now, as bright as this seems, it's only 300 nits. We're right? okay. at half of what you'd be doing outside, mm -hmm. but it has extraordinary contrast. Right. Because in addition to the, the clear sub-pixels and the bigger aperture ratio, we do something known as dynamic backlight control. We're analyzing every image, and we're adjusting the transmission of the panel and the brightness of the LED backlight to make really black blacks. And we do this without creating clipping artifacts. What you would typically see with other similar types of technology with RGB stripe. Mm -hmm. So here we're demonstrating it with both video and with uh, various types of still images. You can notice this thing is very wide viewing angle. You can look at it virtually from any angle compare it to some of the OLED products that are out there, it's pretty close in terms of, of the viewing angle. And that's because tablets, you want to look at it both face head on, mm -hmm. you want to lay it on the table, you want to look at portrait and landscape. Mm -hmm. So having a wide viewing angle is essential to making a good product. Pantel works very well with, with, with wide viewing angle processes. Mm 